Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Somebody's heartbroken. I'm getting the sense that somebody could be receiving some kind of news. Um, you know, I, with the Six of Pentacles here, this is somebody giving somebody something. I feel like they're giving them some kind of news and it's breaking their heart. I feel like you're walking away here and they know they need to come in. They need to come in with an apology, okay? Um, they're, it's making them want to come in much faster now. They're hearing that you're um, meeting somebody new, Okay. This was a third party that they put you in. Um, I feel like these two are together. Yeah, there's a home situation that's coming down. These two are fighting with each other as well. Um, you're in this beautiful star energy, right? You could be in the public eye. You could be on social media, on the internet. You could have your own website. Um, you're, or whatever it is that you're doing, you're standing out doing it, okay? And people are loving what you're doing. Um, you're kind of like, you're very spiritual, a guide, a healer, an empath, a spiritual teacher, an inspiration for other people. So it doesn't really, with the star energy, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You just stand out and people love to be around your energy. You may notice that um, maybe right now you're walking away from a lot of people and situations. So maybe um, you're... Um, I'm kind of feeling like you're, you, you're alone, okay? So you could be single, but, but about to meet somebody new. And um, I feel like you're kind of hermiting out. You know what I mean? You, you may not want to be around many people right now. And it seems like no matter where you go, everybody just kind of flocks to you. <laughs> Have you noticed that? If you leave your ho house to go anywhere, it's like people, you walk into a room and people are looking at you. They're staring at you. Um, I, I always uh, talk about my times when I'm shopping, right? You could be out shopping in an aisle all by yourself. And all of a sudden, everybody wants to go to the aisle that you're in, right? And they'll block you in and they'll squish you in and they'll get closer and closer. And Like people are getting really close to you. It may make you feel uncomfortable because they want to be in your bubble. Okay, <laughs> if you at like if you imagine a big bubble of energy, like a, a bubble around you, right? They want to be in it. They want to be surrounded by your beautiful energy because it makes people feel calm. It makes people feel better. You make people feel warm. And I don't know, they feel that that glimmer of love. You know what I mean? Around you. So I'm feeling like you're just a very special person um, with this special ability to make people feel good just by your presence, okay? Um, and there's a person who's heartbroken over the news that you're meeting somebody new. With this Page of Pentacles energy, I just feel like it's someone new. Look at how this... Look at all this fire sign. This king of wands is staring at this page like, I can't stand you, right? They're very jealous. Um, they may be envious, feeling possessive. I feel like they're not giving this queen of swords that they chose over you any kind of attention. So yeah, you could be dealing with the Leo Airy Sag. And I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on um, about you. I feel like this this King of Wands, um, they could be very good looking, smell good, very charismatic. Right now, they're just very envious, very jealous. Um, they don't like hearing that you're meeting somebody new. Um, and the person that they're with, uh, I feel like she just wants the truth. You know, um, this masculine, they just keep thinking back on somebody from their past, and I feel like that's you. They're not paying any attention to this karmic because their thoughts are all about you. They're feeling heartbroken. They may even be feeling betrayed that you're finding somebody new, but they're already with someone else, so they shouldn't have anything to complain about. 
I feel like this they're with the person they chose over you collective. And uh, they're not happy that you're meeting new people. And um, the Queen of Swords that they're with, she wants to know the truth. This could be a Gemini. I feel like she's trying to block this masculine from coming towards you. And yeah, you're moving on, having this victory. Okay? You're, you're like, I'm done with this. Some of you could be even moving away to a new location. Some of you could, somebody here could have just recently bought a car, and it's super nice. Like, this is a really nice car. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the sense that she's constantly asking this person, um, you know, you want the collective, don't you? You're thinking about the collective, aren't you? You know, I know, I know you want them. I know you're in love with them. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I know you're going to cut me off. I know you're going to end things with me. Why don't you just tell me the truth? All they do is fight about you. And this person, this masculine, doesn't really want to talk to her about you. They'll get information from other people. But I feel like, you know, maybe she did tell this person that you were seeing somebody new just to see if they would get jealous. And, and they're fighting over it. Either way, they're fighting over you, collective. And you're like in this peaceful state, moving on in your north node that tells me that you're not all up in their business. They're up in yours. Okay, yeah, this masculine is big mad. Mad, jealous, on fire because you could be, yeah, you could be seeing somebody new. Look at all these wands. Wanting to take that action. Maybe wanting to communicate. Okay, I'm seeing travel here as well, so this person may want to come towards you no matter where you are to talk, or they may be trying to talk to you on the internet. Yeah, they want to get back together. They don't, they don't want this karmic. <laughs> they don't even want her. I feel like they want to get back together with you. This is somebody who put you in a third party and sacrificed you for a karmic individual who knows about you, can't compete with an empress. And so she's trying to maybe, she could even be blocking like this person's phone, right? She could be, um, she could be taking this masculine's phone and putting on some kind of app that, or maybe she's just deleting your number, that kind of thing. She, she doesn't even want them to look at you, talk to you, nothing, nothing. Okay, um, and she wants the truth. She wants to hear it from your person's mouth. You know, that they're still in love with you, that they're walking around heartbroken and angry. I feel like this person gets angry. They pop off. You know, they're actually showing me, um, oh, geez, it's from a movie, though. What is it called? Um, oh, One Bedroom, I think it's called. It's a movie called One Bedroom. They're showing me a scene where there's been holes or something punched in a wall and covered up, like, hastily, right? Um, so I feel like this person, they get angry. Um, they may have some anger management issues right now. They're feeling a lot of pressure. They could be, like, punching walls, and, I mean, the fighting is bad. They're acting weird. They're lashing out, maybe, at the karmic, even. Um all because you're moving on and you're meeting new people. But this is what this person chose, you know. They definitely don't want to let you go, okay. Or somebody doesn't want to let go. It could be the karmic that won't, refuses to let go of this masculine. Um, but this masculine wants to reunite with their empress, okay. And I feel like that's your energy collective. You could be a Taurus, Aries. Aquarius, uh, Cancer. Yeah, see, they feel stuck. Th this masculine wants to choose a new path, but they're, they're feeling very stuck in, in this karmic situation. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe, sh uh, maybe this masculine doesn't have their money right, you know? Maybe they're in a home situation with this karmic feeling stuck because the four of pentacles it, 
it's not wanting to let go, but also it could be them being broke. Like maybe this karmic actually is the one who provides for them. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, right? But, um, you know, maybe they just don't have money to leave. I don't know, something. But you, I feel like you've got a new, a new emperor coming in. Because um, this person, that they chose a karmic over you. And now they're stuck there. This is like somebody who they made their bed. Now they have to lie in it. Okay. And the karmic is, I feel like she's the one who's refusing to let go. She's blocking this person from coming towards you, blocking them from being able to communicate with you. So spirit's sending you in an emperor. This is somebody who is grounded, stable, every king in the deck. They are moving slow though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look, spirit, <laughs> with all the fighting that's going on um, in that situation, I'm telling you, and now your person is finding out that they're about to have competition as well, they're in a lot of regret. Spirit is, um, I feel like they're praying to God, and God is answering. Um, and they're telling them that this is what they wanted. If they, if they want to change their mind and come back towards you, they're going to have to take a stand and fight for this. Okay? Fight for this connection. You know? Uh, because they're going to have to go up against this Queen of Swords that they're currently with. And um, she doesn't look like she's going to budge anytime soon. This person's going to have to really take a stand for themselves. They're praying. Because... Spirit is like, you know what? Um, the collective is leaving. The collective has closed out a cycle. You, you're, you completed. This com is completion to a cycle. You've learned your lessons. You've passed all your tests. And you can't stay in stagnancy anymore. It would be excruciating for you. You've outgrown this. You've outgrown the wait period. You've outgrown the no communication. You've outgrown this karmic situation that your person's in. Yeah, you're ready to move forward. And I feel like you're about to get a real emperor here. And this person's going to be real sorry if they don't take a stand. Okay? They're watching you. They're studying everything that you're doing. So this person's doing a lot of spying on you, okay? Like, who are you dating? Who are you going out with? How, who's talking to you, okay? I feel like not only are, like, like if you're on social media and you make a post out there, they're not only looking at your posts, looking at all your pictures, trying to find any kind of clue who you're dating, right? But they're also looking in the comment section. If anybody comments on your post, they're going into the comment section and studying that person. They're trying to find out who you're spending your time with, who you're giving your energy and your love to. Okay, who are you out here dating? Is somebody asking you on a date? And that could be this too, this emperor coming in asking you on a date and you accepting and going on that date. Uh, there could be pictures of this on your social media, right? It's driving this person crazy. So, you know, I feel like all they do really is, is, is pray um, and fight about you and, and look you up on social media whenever, wherever they can, okay? They're very burdened by this. They can't keep carrying these burdens. They're hearing all the gossip. They don't like the gossip that they're hearing either because I feel like I feel like people are celebrating you, okay? Um, this could be friends, you know, um, talking about the accomplishments you've made, talking about a house move, a new car maybe that you've purchased, okay? The, you're moving forward with your life. Things are happening for you in your favor, including new love, okay? And this person, they can't stand it. They can't take it because they do feel very stuck. It's keeping them up at night. They're having, this is like their worst nightmare. For real. Their, their, their life right now is like their worst nightmare because you're leaving them behind and they feel absolutely stuck. 
with the karmic that they chose over you, doing nothing but fighting about you all day, constantly reminded about you all day, constantly hearing about things that you're doing, okay? Um, yeah, all of this information, uh, everything they're seeing, everything they're hearing, this is also a lot of worry, a lot of fear. Who are you dating? Who are you dating? Who is this new emperor that's coming into the picture? right? Are they touching you? Are they kissing you? Ah, right? That's this energy. Ah, that panic, that anxiety, okay? Um, that uh, fire, that passion, that envy, that jealousy, the possessiveness. I'm telling you, they can't stand it. Oh, all right. So what else can you give me for the collective? Yeah, so they're not sleeping at night. If they are, they're definitely having nightmares. Ooh, this wanted to come out in reverse. This person's getting some heavy karma. Um, this is part of their karma. A, a judgment in reverse. I'm getting the sense that, you know what, spirit warned them. Spirit has seen everything that this person's been doing. They saw everything they did to you. They witnessed you be sacrificed in a third party for a karmic. Okay, I mean, spirit's out here pretty strong with the higher Fenton judgment. So, yeah, this is somebody getting their karma for how they treated you, and you're about to receive a blessing. See, you were the blessing in this person's life. They turned it down, turned their nose up at it, missed the opportunity, chose someone else over you. Okay, now that blessing is still out here. It's going to you, and it's going to an emperor. And scales are being balanced. This is fair. You know, I feel like spirit is saying, um, under judgment for all that you've done, you have no right to complain about who is going to be loving up on the collective. Because you gave them nothing but heartache and betrayal. So the collective's getting new love. The universe says that this is fair. Okay, it's fair. You made your choice. Now the collective gets to move on. Okay? So, yeah, this is part of their karma, is watching you move forward and watching you get loved by somebody new. Someone that they won't be able to compete with. You can't compete with the emperor. The emperor's every king in the deck. Okay? Okay? And I feel like this person, they're still stuck with a karmic. They're not even single. They don't even have a right to complain about anything that you're doing. This is somebody who left you behind, man. They've got no right to complain, and that's what Spirit's telling them. And they know it. They're getting that message loud and clear, but it, it, doesn't, it still doesn't stop them from being upset about it, okay? But yes, you have new love coming in. Um, and this is, the, this is balancing the scales, okay? Um, I'm also seeing it as a blessing that um, you deserve. It's, it's like you're being rewarded here by spirit um, in the face of this person who wronged you, okay? All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Messages for my collective. Ooh. Yeah, you have a new soulmate connection coming in. This is this emperor, okay? This is emperor, empress energy. And this new person is going to be loyal, dedicated, um, reliable. Uh, they won't be a disappointment. They're not going to put you in a third party and break your heart. They're not going to make you wait forever. This is this emperor. They take a stand and they go after what they want. So, yeah, this is a new soulmate connection, but um, this could even be like a, a, a twin flame or a displaced divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So, uh, um, like a replacement twin, okay? <laughs> yeah, and this unfinished symphony, all of this stagnancy, it's over with a 10. That's a completion as well. 
All right, so you got through some kind of wait period, a stagnant period, right? No movement, no communication, but that's all coming to an end. All right, I feel like um, you've got new love coming in, right? You've got blessings coming in, things that are fated for you. you and you know they're all going to start coming in, like trickling in one right after another. Small blessings, big blessings, whatever you've been manifesting because you completed a cycle properly. You did your work. You did everything that spirit wanted you to do. So now is when you start um, getting the blessings that have been stored for you on the 5D. Okay? Things are aligning for you now in your life. This person, they're stuck. Okay? There's no forward movement. They're, they're just stuck obsessing about you. Feel like nothing new is happening in their life. No new opportunities. That kind of thing. Yeah, see, you get your blessings now because of all the work that you've put in. You know, all the energy that you put out there. It's about to return to you um, with an eight. If you lost anything in this, in this journey, it's going to be brought back to you or replenished. I'm hearing the word replenished, okay? Um, so your, it could be your health. I'm hearing that somebody is getting healthier, getting over something. So, um, yeah, that could be for you. You could have been sick, and now you're about to feel healed. Um, you, uh, you could have lost money, energy, motivation. That's about to be returned to you. You felt very unloved in all of this except by the divine, right? You're about to receive love from someone on the 3D. I feel like you've been patient. You've been flexible. You have, um, and you've been, you've had integrity. Like, um, you pretty much kept to yourself. You didn't say anything about the hurt and the pain and the betrayal. Um, you didn't retaliate. You didn't seek any revenge. Like, you've done everything you were supposed to do the right way. Okay? Um, yeah, you're realizing that um, the stagnant energy is not for you. Unrequited love is not for you. Love shouldn't feel painful like a battlefield 24-7 every day of the year. You know what I mean? And you're like, I'm done with this, right? You've got your balance. You're balanced in your emotions. You're looking at this logically. So you've healed, okay? And I feel like you're ready to go. You're ready to start something new. Yeah, you're in a place of peace. You're, you're not heartbroken over this person anymore. You're strong. You're confident. You're capable. You're, um, you're masterful. You're accomplishing a lot. You're making big, bold boss moves. Like, you are ready for love. So, um, here and now... You're getting ready to move into a future cycle, okay? You're leaving the past behind you, all right? You've sat here forever with an open door for this person to come back in and make things right. Every day was an opportunity for them to make something right. But you're not going to sit in this stagnancy anymore. This has to change with a five and another five and a ten. I'm telling you, yeah, you're leaving that behind. It's time for you to move on. This is you starting something new, a new phase in your life. Okay? All of this darker, drab, depressing energy, you're walking out of it with a crown on and straightened. Right? Between worlds, you've got one foot on the 3D, one foot in the 5D, and the 5D is celebrating you here. Okay? Um, with all this confetti. So I, this is telling me that you've earned this. You deserve this. You deserve a bright, um, wish-fulfilled future, okay? And that's what you're going to get. You deserve love by somebody who's going to know how to love you the right way. 
and that's what you're getting all of this you deserve your blessings and everything that spirit has had stored for you in the 5d you're getting that too and it's all because of the effort you put in to yourself your healing um and this journey okay you did your work you've been co-creating with the divine i feel like you're very protected okay a lot of spiritual protection here and you're listening to your intuition you're allowing yourself to be led but this person you're leaving them behind i feel they know it they're still spying on you they want to know who are you giving your love to it's literally driving them crazy but spirit like i said spirit is telling this person sorry collect him yeah spirit is telling this person you've got no right to complain you chose this path for yourself you made a choice when it came to love um and you played games with the collective and now the collective gets to move on and that's fair that's fair you will be loved collective and you will have your wishes fulfilled okay so anyway 